Good morning viewers. Welcome to another wonderful episode of Burnout Life. I hope you all are doing well. Today is a new day. Um, yesterday, Christopher had a dentist appointment, so I had to pick up Christopher early yesterday. I waited for the girls to come home from school. When they came home, jumped in the car. Well, I was at the bus stop waiting for them. Once they got in the car, I drove off, went to pick them, went to pick up Christopher from school. I left Christina and Kristen in the car in front of the school, locked the doors, and I ran inside. Um, when I came back inside, Christina explained to me um, a scenario. And she said, Mom, suppose someone's messing with you and you tell them to stop messing with you and they're still messing with you and you defend yourself and the person hits you in your face. I said, what are you talking about? And then she goes, can I fight that person? I said, um, what do you mean? Why? Wow, what happened? She said, look at Kristen's face. I turned around and looked at Kristen's face. It's pretty thought. It's pretty. And um, my baby had... Where's the phone? Yeah. Can you get that phone for me, please? Kristen had a scar under her eye. She had a scar on her nose. And she had a uh, scar on her nose? On her other eye. Uh, it's not, you can't really see it right now. It's on her nose, but if you feel it, it's like a bump. Okay, you can't really see it right now. But um, I took I pictures to of it yesterday. It so, here is. Let me edit. You might want to brighten that picture up a little. So there is my kid's face, Exhibit A. Okay. Here is the second one. Um, and you can I see can her eye over there on the other side is bruised. And she has a light red spot right here. Yesterday, when I saw you, we were... At the end of her school, because both of the kids' schools are in the same parking lot, and um, I was at the stop sign about to get onto the road, I flipped my car around after, well, not flip, I did a quick U turn, went to the school, and um, went inside. I told the ladies at the front desk. My child has this? been bullied. This kid has been bothering her in her classroom. And um, this kid hit my child in the face yesterday. They called the principal, the assistant principal, and the counselor came. And um, we had a meeting yesterday. So today, I'm taking my kid to school just to make sure my child is safe. You know, and make sure they do their part as um service members to my child okay to uh, ensuring her safety so i'm taking my kids to school this morning i will go after christopher gets on the bus so they have some time and i'm also um going late because i wouldn't say late i would say well it is late but just be a few minutes late the bus start, I mean, the late belt is at 7.35. We will get there at um, at 8. Furthermore, the reason why I'm getting there late is because I want all the important people to arrive on time. I don't want to take my kid to school and she has to face the teacher, the student, and be in that situation by herself. Okay? When it comes to my children, I don't play that, okay? I really don't play. I can hear you whining now. Let's go. <laughs> oh, <shit. clears throat> yeah, for real. I needed, like, an older sister in my life, for real, because I'm the one who's always, like... Hey, you were the oldest? Subbing in for other people, you know? Oh, my goodness, but... I love, when I tell you I love you, Wade, like for real, she is like, a big sister. for real, she will really be there, you know what I'm saying? But anyway, 
Like how last time when you were at home and you didn't feel well, she took care of you? Mm-hmm. And um, so, yeah, I just need all of them to be there because I know they all do not arrive when the buses get there. So I'm just um, being a parent and doing what parents are supposed to do. So that's what's going on this morning. How is your morning going, guys? I hope you all are doing well. How is your sandwich, darling? It's good? I didn't like the tomatoes. You don't like the tomatoes? All right. Eat your food so I can freshen up your hair a bit. Okay? Can you make this video with like, more water? No. That's a, that's a waste, and you're not going to like it. So. Can you make me tea? You want tea this morning? Yes, please. Let's make some tea, guys. Lemon, lemon ginger. You okay, Mama? I am, darling. Thanks for asking. I mean, I went. I was yesterday. I was so heated, y'all. I was so heated. I started crying. I mean, I was. I was so hurt yesterday because this kid has been bothering my child That's for like the longest. For the longest time. <sighs> Mommy, go look what the strike is mine. I'm just gonna give that you this. One. That one's mine. This kid has been bothering my child for the longest time. So yeah, it's just it was it was a day yesterday. I was just I was hurt. You know how I mean, you're so hurt? Like I was so hurt, tears were coming down my eyes, but I wasn't like crying. I was just shaking. <sighs> it was a day, it was an experience yesterday. Mommy, you know you forgot to buy your milk when you were on the road. I did forget. We don't have any honey, so just drink it like that, okay? Mm. We have, um, I think we have, we have heavy cream. You want some? Yes, okay. Thank you, Christopher. Why can't you give Thank us a pad on a video call? Mm -hmm. All right, bring the spoon. Can I mix it? Mm -hmm. No, you have to put the stuff. Did you eat it? No. I oh, that's nice and warm. Let me go shower. My car is so good. Okay. No! Give me a hug. 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 Why, what I'm taking him to school this morning. Okay, I don't want to cook. Um, to make sure that everybody do what they're supposed to do today. I got you. I got you. And the only reason why I am here so late is because um, I don't know if the bus gonna be late picking up Christopher. So that's why I'm still here. Have a blessed day, Christopher. Christopher's bus is here. He is getting on the bus. And, um, we are on our way this morning. Here you go, Kristen. You're welcome. Like I said, I didn't know if the bus is going to be late, so I had to wait for my son to get on the bus. And we are off to school this morning to get this situation handled. I'm just 
giving all the important people time to get to school today. Which means when I get there, the principal, the assistant principal, and the counselor need to be there. And something needs to be put in place before my child returns to that school. And it's pretty funny because, no, I, not funny, but I find it upsetting that the teacher didn't give me a call yesterday because Kristen did not go to school with her face scarred, okay? Or with bruises on her face. And Kristen is light as day, okay? So why didn't the teacher call? You understand? That's another thing that also pissed me off yesterday. I mean, when I tell you, I was like, I was heated, but yet I was calm and my mind was sharp yesterday, okay? And I mean alert, I was well alert yesterday. Now that I'm getting to the school, I don't, I, I don't have time for nonsense. I don't want anybody coming and telling me any type of effery this morning from any teachers or anything of the kind. I don't want to hear any apology from the teacher because I will let her know it was absolutely unprofessional and uncaring as a teacher not to call the parent. That means she's not paying attention to her students. I, I, at this point where I am right now, I don't care if I hurt anybody's feelings because I'm speaking the truth. I'm not gonna go over there hollering and screaming because that is not my character. You may see me screaming at my kids here and there at the house. That is only out of frustration when I have spoken to them multiple times. But I am going over there with a clear mind, okay? And I'm going to just tell them exactly how it is. My child needs to be safe and that is my only concern. Okay, so I'm back in the car. Everything has been handled. I got there. Um, I'm shaking because I'm cold. Oh. Oh. All I can say is everything went well. They had a call. I walked in the office with Kristen. Um, they were waiting. You know, the principal was there. Their assistant principal, the counselor... And the, there was a behavioral specialist that came to jot down, you know, what happened. They called all the proper officials to take care of the situation. Oh, I'm so cold. But everything has been handled. I was in the office sitting there with Kristen to ask Kristen a few questions and what happened. Um, and she answered them. She was so quiet and timid and soft spoken and in my mind I'm like girl you are not like this at home or on camera <laughs> but um it was just a different situation for me you know I've never been in something like this you know but um like I say I don't teach my kids to hit you know um my children are not fighters physically when it comes to difficult situations you know I teach my kids to speak up you know, even though some are more vocal than others, Christina is the most vocal kid in school than Christopher and Kristen. Kristen is the least vocal kid. You know, she does speak up, but she is so quiet, you know. Um, but everything has been handled. I feel comfortable leaving my child at school today. That's what is important. Um, Kristen feels comfortable um, being at school so today for recess so they're gonna keep the two girls apart um, the teacher the teachers are well aware 
that the students need to be kept apart until the end of the school year. Um, this has not been, this is not a one-time situation. This is something that's been going on for a while. I just want to let parents know when you have, when your kid come and tells you there is someone bothering you at school, have documentation. Um, write, take notes, send notes to the teachers, have it on your phone, you know. Um, I There were se several notes on my phone messages i would say on my phone to the teachers who were communicating with this same child who's been bothering my kid at school i just i feel good i feel good that everything was handled yep and i am truly a i truly appreciate you know the school officials here i love them so much i really do and I'm just grateful that my kids have great teachers, great um, counselors, great a great principal, just a a great school system as a whole. You know, I'm just I'm really really grateful. But I want to do something nice. That's just how I am. I'm a giver. Craig gonna be like mine, girl. I like to keep my money in my pocket. You know. But anyway, um, I'm just happy that my kid feels good. You know, yesterday when I came to school, I mean, they jumped right into action. Kids, speak up for yourself. If you have an issue with a particular student, a parent, a um, teacher, a classmate, speak up use your use your voice and say something to an adult a school official you know just speak up y'all these people are put in place our school officials are put in place to help us keep our children safe all right so with that being said uh, to keep and to keep you all safe as well. Safety is priority. So with that being said, God bless you all. Burn your life. I'm out. Peace.